Apart from the commercial use of the airfield, there is one very important role that Northfield plays today, and that's to provide facilities for a new generation of private and display pilots to hone their flying skills. The suitability of Northfield for this sort of event, uh, a meeting of yak aircraft, practice in formation flying, that's a good example of the type of flying which can take place here, which cannot, through various local restrictions, take place at any other um, large aerodrome in the southeast, to my knowledge. I'd say this was because that the interesting and vintage aircraft that we operate from here need this large strip of tarmac, uh, as well as free airspace, to operate. Regular training exercises are organised that bring professional and amateur pilots together to an airfield whose history has a significant place in their hearts. Flying from here uh, has a special atmosphere and um, the other pilots and I, I know from talking to them, feel it. It was only mentioned this morning actually because um, you can't fail to, to imagine when you, when you fly from here what it would have been like in wartime to, to climb out in a Spitfire or something. One pilot very familiar with the airfield has fulfilled a boyhood dream of not only flying hurricanes and spitfires, but also returning to the airfield that made such an impression on him as an ATC cadet. The airfield was wonderful because it was untouched. This was pre the army moving in. Um, it, was, it was just as the Air Force had moved out. OK, it was getting slightly derelict, but it had that sort of romantic feel about it. Um, I loved it, absolutely adored it. I learned to fly in the 80s at Cambridge, I learned on Tiger Moths, and then that set me on the route for the old aeroplane world, if you like, and, and having been around the airshow circuit with a B-17, I was in a good position to, you know, use the contacts that I'd had, if you like. Um, and it worked out for me, and ultimately I ended up on flying Spitfires and Hurricanes. So from being at North Will, the snotty-nosed kid, if you like, with his nose pressed against the fence, looking at Bill Bedford and Geoffrey Quill, I've now gone full circle and I'm doing it myself at North World, so to me that's a big ambition.